I saw this. This is some cringy ass shit. Uh, get prepared, boys. I'm muting now. <laughs> You can hear it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is. My stupid child drowned. I'm going to shoot her. Do something to save her. Please save her. Please, please. My thoughts and prayers are with you. Thoughts and prayers. Thoughts. Prayers. Thoughts and prayers! Hell. That is a total lie. Wow, straight propaganda. You gotta love it, right? Yeah, and Funny on enough, top of it, that, pools probably that kill more children than guns. <laughs> I mean, that's probably true, but no, it's it's not only yeah, you, like you said, pro full on propaganda. Yeah, abortion you gotta, kills more kids than guns. Facts. Um, but then it's it's the extra attack angle too, not through this uh, blatant bullshit. Uh, but then you know, basically taking that shot. No pun intended. Uh, at religious folks that put out those messages and thoughts and prayers and stuff like that, it's it's fulfilling so many different little things for this little, as uh, Red Hoodwing just said, the sick and twisted commercial. I was gonna say, I was just gonna note that it is like it's like direct attack against people that you know are doing yeah. thoughts and prayers. It's like so that that's harmful when, when, now apparently. Is is mocking, yeah, because like they're saying, they're they're trying to push that you should be taking more action against gun violence and stuff like that, instead of just saying thoughts and prayers. When that's not the that's not the point behind. Oh, you want us to take action? This is this is so <laughs> uh -oh. asinine. So why not bring up anything about abortion? If you're like gun violence is the number one thing that kills children, but you look at abortion, why? Why is nothing being brought about about abortion? Well, because again, it's about serving a certain narrative that they want. As to them, those aren't children. Yes, that too. And they're trying to mock, sort of, uh, you know, trying to say that uh, people saying thoughts and prayers are just taking an apathetic stance to it and not really doing anything. And not taking it seriously and anything like that when, you know, it's more of just, you know, when a when a tragic event like that happens, it's a way of also for people kind of coming together and just trying to give some positivity in a way. You Which know? is funny anybody because who, the true story who... the true story about this, the little kid drowning in the pool, is the mother finding the kid drowned and people offering their thoughts and prayers. Not like her going, you know, I gotta sit down and you know think about thoughts and prayers because obviously she had jumped straight in. Yeah. You know, this is like straight propaganda. Yeah, straight from that's uh, just so yeah. Well, and who was you want to sit there and mock people for not doing anything, but the mother did not jump into the pool seconds after her the child. Mothers for yeah, mothers for democracy, Newton Action Alliance, which was that group that was just being talked about with Mark Hamill. Uh, change the ref. Lives robbed. Learn more at mothersfordemocracy.org slash gun reform. Show me the funders. Yeah, <laughs> start digging in. I mean, that's the thing. Start following money trails, folks. Start Soros. looking into these. <laughs> Oprah. BlackRock. Start looking into the BlackRock. Black yeah, Rock. start looking into all these little uh, organizations, who they're funded by, who who's pushing them the hardest. You know? Uh it gets really interesting on and if you're willing to see it gets really interesting folks that exactly yeah. 
Hail back at you, Star Wars Marvel Pierce. How's it going, man? Yeah, it's it's a like already Red Hood Link said it's a very you know vile, disgusting little ad that they decided to put out to uh, push this. And uh, I mean, they want to mock people that are saying thoughts and prayers. Well, you know, here you are using effectively, as been pointing out by other people, you are using deaths of other people to push your propagandist narratives. You are immediately stepping on a tragic event to to go guns bad hiss, instead of you know yeah thoughts and prayers are we're we're here for you if you need help I mean, that's effective that the, uh, yeah so I mean it, it's funny the it, how the, the moral posturing happens how they want to act like they're so above it and you know funny enough it's not even just propaganda it's literally lies it's yeah because yes. uh what is that the static there said pools get a lot of kids here in arizona i'm guessing yes and it's yeah, like, yeah. pools literally probably kill people more kids than uh you know guns in fact bees probably kill more kids than guns i i mean start really looking at well, I mean, yeah, you can start looking through all the different statistics and stuff like that. See what really starts does killing people. Like you said, either bees, allergies from certain things. I mean, come on. Well, I mean, it's like when they use statistics to say, you know, you know, because like the whole Jaws thing, ooh, sharks are scary and dangerous. Oh, and they, yeah, they yeah, use yeah. bees to say, oh, well, more people are killed by bees than sharks every the year. Shark so, attacks, yeah. You know, sharks are no big deal. Well. Kids are, kids, like are, something more... kids are probably in more danger from their teachers than guns. At this point, yeah. I mean, Jesus Christ, the more stories you're hearing about these freaking... And not just from being killed by them. <gasps> oh. Ooh. <laughs> Careful with that one. <laughs> yes, we need more pool control. <laughs> you know, that's probably true. Oh, my God. So yeah, that's the uh, that's that. I saw that. I was just like, "You've got to be shitting me, really? We're we're doing this? Okay, okay. Uh, not unsurprising. Just just like Jesus Christ. 